What's up, family? My name is Angel, and I want to share a couple things that God has placed in my heart and some things that can possibly help. 2020 has been a rough year for so many people, and with the heartache and stress of COVID-19, I just want to let you know that it's okay to not be okay. For many people, this season has come with a lot of loss, whether it be a loss of a loved one, a loss of a job, whatever loss that may be. This season has caused a lot of people, myself included, to deal with worry, anxiety, depression, stress, anger, confusion. And I know it has been difficult to wake up every morning and wonder when this crisis would be over. The biggest mistake we make is thinking that there is something wrong with us because we aren't coping the way other people are coping. We all may be dealing with different emotions and experiences, but we are all in this together. It's okay to not have all the answers right now. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel. And even though our circumstances aren't good right now, I'd like to challenge you. I'd like to challenge you to find hope, search for hope. Even though right now I'm not good, I hope for a better tomorrow. Even though I'm not okay right now, I hope for better days to come. As long as I keep my eyes on God and focus on what's important. Faith, family, community. The Bible speaks to us about this in Psalms 121, 1 and 2. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. See, whether you've been following God a long time or still trying to know who God is, this passage invites us. It invites us because he is our help. Even if you haven't looked to God in this way before, you can look at him today. It's okay to not be okay. And God wants to be your help. If you're wondering on how to allow God to be your help, Here's a few practical ways. One, stay connected. It's important, especially in these times, that we stay connected to friends and family, loved ones. Join a group chat. Join a, a Zoom Bible study. Just stay connected. Two, pray. God is our refuge. Through prayer, we can seek his comfort no matter what the situation is. Three, get into his word. Encourage yourself with God's word. Read on who he is. And last but not least, number four, pick up the phone, text somebody, let people in. Let people know what you got going on. Let people know that you can't be alone at this time. Don't allow yourself to be isolated. Be with people who love you. So family, be super intentional on taking care of yourself at this time. And remember, it's okay to not be okay because God is here to help. Take care and God bless.